Uh, let's take a look at uh, some of the cool features in RouterCAD for dealing with DXF files created in other drawing programs like AutoCAD or uh, TurboCAD or whatever CAD product you're using to create layered DXF files in. You can bring those in and use those in RouterCAM. I'm just going to click on the nesting option here and select nest. We will bring this up. I'm going to tell it to import uh, that sheet we were just looking at. And we'll tell it, uh, click that and open. And that's that. This will automatically bring that sheet in, size it to fit the material here. And then when I tell it to go to code and uh, display the code, here it comes in and does all the drilling for the hardware first. It's using a 5 millimeter bit to, to do all the drilling for the hardware. Uh, and then it's also going to use a 3H compression spiral and onion skin and cut out the small drawer fronts first. We have a parameter set so that it will automatically onion skin small parts. So it's going to come in and cut all the small parts next and then come back and cut uh, the larger parts uh, as far as the doors and stuff like that because they're large enough we're not worried about those moving or anything like that. So those are, those are features already built into router cam. Advanced onion skinning, optimization of cutting and drilling. I'm going to close out of this port portion of the program. I'm just going to trash this drawing. Uh, we'll, we'll go back and go import. Let's just say I need a few scrap pieces, or not scrap pieces, a few spare parts. I'm going to click on a stretcher. Open that. We'll go import. I'll take like a right panel and bring that in. And let's say uh, a partition as well. Uh, I'm going to bring in these three parts. I'm going to tell it to nest those parts. Now what it did is we have a scrap manager built in. I have scrap use scrap here. Instead of using a whole piece of material, I had a piece of scrap that was available so it went and found a, a piece of scrap that it could use. Use this piece of scrap first. And then also this green line here, it's going to square this off and save this this piece will all fall back into the scrap manager. So not only will it use the scrap, it will resize the scrap if, to, to, to my specifications and save it back in for future usage. So when I click on code here, display the code, there's our small piece, you know, optimized sheets here, did a really good job of, of figuring out the best usage to square off this piece for you. And again, it did the line boring first. It came in and cut out the wire chase hole, wire chase hole here, uh, and then, you know, and then cut the parts out. We're going to close that. Now, if I want to bring in a whole nest of parts drawn from an AutoCAD or some other CAD product, I will uh, just uh, put this in the trash. We'll go back to uh, import. I'll grab a uh, nested sheet here, open this, and I'll tell it to nest that. It knows it needs a full size sheet to fit this on, so here's your nest of parts here. I'll go quick code, and we'll just display the code. And again, we're coming in doing the line boring first, optimize uh, the drilling, the cutting, uh, we can come in and have it cut out, do all the interior operations first. That's what it's doing here. And then the last thing it's going to do is cut out the parts. In this instance, because we have these parts also designated as onion skin parts, it cut those out first. And then the last thing it did was cut out the big parts because that's when you have the most vacuum. or you know, It's utilizing the vacuum system of the machine to get you the best possible hold down results for your particular machine. Those are just some of the really cool features in router cam. Uh, thank you for your time.